Good morning, yogis. Back again today. Going to be focusing a little bit more on the core um, for these few poses. So we're going to start with our table posture, all fours posture. We're going to do some cat cows just to get the spine warmed up. We've done that before. You want to make sure that your hands are stacked underneath your shoulders. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders all nicely stacked. Knees and hips also nicely stacked. And then allow yourself to find those cat cows. So find as many as you need to, dropping the belly on your inhales and rounding the spine on your exhales. So take a couple of those just to get good and warmed up. And then finding the tiger pose, you really want to maintain that alignment of the hands and of the knees underneath the hips. We're going to start with the right leg to be our lifted leg. You start to just lift that right leg as if you were stamping the ceiling. Maybe take a few presses here if that feels appropriate. And then really start to extend that leg and look up if that feels okay. No crunching in the neck. If you feel good with that, you could do that. If you wanted to incorporate maybe the opposite arm, you could extend the left arm. So that's the right side. Be sure you get the left side. Same thing, be sure the alignment is good. You're all stacked up. You're not locking out on the elbows. You can find all the fingers, the pads of the fingers of your hands. So as you extend the left leg or the opposite leg, try and take a couple of presses here, equal amount on the second side. Allow yourself to extend and lift, maybe look forward or look up, no crunching in the neck, and perhaps incorporate the opposite arm. So that is our tiger pose. Moving on to a little bit more core work, a little bit more ab work, taking your forward fold posture, feet a little bit wide, so allow your hands to be on the floor. If that is not possible, get your block and place your hands on the block. So if you have your block here, that's perfectly fine. If you can find the hands on the floor, that's great. Think about taking several taps of the toes to your wrist. So starting with the right leg, I'm giving it a pretty good lean here this morning but I'm tapping my watch band with my toes. So second side, pretty good lean over, activating and engaging the core, finding that second side. So once you've found that, start to release back down, finding a child's pose, length from the belly, Lengthen the back body. A little decompression of the belly against the thighs. And then for a nice counter posture, a version of camel pose. Allow your head to drop back. If you're more familiar with the traditional camel pose or ustrasana, you can go ahead and find that as well. So sitting on my heels, or you can move on. Just sitting up on your knees, hands at the back, try and draw the elbows closer together and find your camel pose there. So a couple of good variations. We've gone through a lot of these, so just getting back to the basics, adding in a little bit more core engagement, and that's all for today. Namaste.